You called, milady? Yes, Parker. Get the Rolls Royce. We are going for a little drive. Of all the characters across Super Mario Nation, Lady Penelope and Parker from Thunderbirds are perhaps the most fondly remembered. The inspiration behind Parker's voice is well known to many Thunderbirds fans, but it's still a great tale to hear, especially when it's directly from series co-creator Jerry Anderson and voice artist David Graham. Our story begins at a pub in Cookham. Yes, well, this is the King's Arms, all right. Uh, of course, the inside has been altered. Uh, uh, beyond recognition, I can't even get my bearings here. But this is where I got the inspiration for Parker's voice. We used to come down here every day for lunch, and we would go into the little restaurant here where they served lovely English food, and there was a very nice waiter by the name of Arthur. And Arthur used to chat to us at the end of the meal and explain to us over and over again how he used to work at the royal household and how he worked for Her Majesty the Queen. He was very proud of this. And uh, he had this wonderful capability of dropping his H's and then somehow managing to put them all back in the wrong place. Pack the cases, unpack the cases. You fix up people would make up their bands. At that time, we were creating Parker the puppet, and the face was so good that I thought we really must have a, a great patter for this character. And one day I thought, I know, Arthur, down at the King's Arms, let's base Parker's voice on Arthur. I'd know that chauffeur's face anywhere. And so I sent David Graham, who's a top voice artist, down here every day for a week to chat up Arthur and pick up his mannerisms. You, of course, remember that, David. Yeah, I've, I remember it very well. I remember the first day I was sitting here with menu in my hands and this lovely grey-haired old character comes up and he says, uh, would you like to see the word, this, sir? Uh... The five bread. And I thought, wonderful, wonderful, revelation. Whole character opens up before me. And I came here on succeeding days, we, we worked out quite a relationship, and uh, he told me a bit about his background. He said, you know, I worked at the Royal Household, you know. I was uh, at Windsor for many, many years. And I said, well, I said, have oh, you got Windsor soup on the menu? He said, oh, certainly we got Windsor soup. Would you like that, sir? And I was in the employ of the Royal Household for many years, and then I retired. Well done, Parker. Thank you, madam. Because sometimes you just need one thing, you know, whether it's live or whatever, uh, to illuminate a character for you. And, uh, and that, was, that was the genesis, that was the creation of Parker, which we developed. As the series went on, I added more mannerisms. I mean, I suppose Parker in his prime didn't have, a, I mean, this way to be based it on, didn't have as many. But I was able to use my, whatever acting skills I had to make to enrich the character. It who began the last time I was away. In prison, you mean? The great phrase was, you rang, milady. And I think it was that pause between rang and milady. Then a why just seemed right. And, and you could do that in very many ways, you know. Or, or yes, milady, you know, if he was being put down Yes, my lady would sound different. If he was cheerful, he would sound in a different way. You could ring so many changes. And then I think I added all the, the Hasperts, you know, boom and, and, and uh, you know, the H's, putting on the H's and saying and all this, I think, came on afterwards. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I would agree that I have a rare talent. One that you might say one has, or then again, does not has. He'd been to the University of Parkhurst, you know, and uh, he was a professor on bee landing, and uh, I always created a scene where he's sort of been released for the last time, and he, he's sort of walking home, walking home, and he sees this roller that had broken down, you know, and she's trying to change a wheel or something, and he said, well, you know, I have some expertise in that. Uh, could I help you? And 
She looked at him with rather suspicion, and but he sorted it out, and then she invited him over to the stately um, for a little cup of tea, you see, and then offered him a job. I mean, the face is, is marvellous. That, that, it's sort of that roguish, glinting, charming... Um, and and the, the, the way the, the writers wrote wonderfully for him, because that's the raw material of an act. You can't do anything without a script, whether it's whether it's for a puppet or or, or, or a play. And and he was a character. You know, people regard him as a human being, and that's why you acted him like an actor, seriously playing a part. You don't act down because it's a puppet. Oh, my lady. Help. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week.